Hello everybody, my name is Patrick Outeni and today I will speak about a really interesting, famous and great game Kasparov Anand. And this game is famous because it was the first time when Anand won against Gary Kasparov and I hope that you will enjoy this game. I will do my best to show you a really interesting moment, variation and at the end I believe that you will like this video. So welcome here and we are in the first interesting position. Now what do you think? What is the right move? Knight to c6 or knight to d7? And I will tell you that normal looking move knight to c6 is not the right move. Why? Because um, black has typical French bad light square bishop on c8. And somewhere here black is playing with bad bishop. It's really important to have the right feeling that we have to play with the right pieces. Yes. So, for this reason, Vichy Anand has another plan. He is playing knight to d7 and, of course, his plan is to play b6 and immediately play bishop to b7. He believes, and of course Vichy is right, that good player has good pieces. So, maybe we will remember this this topic of this game and we will play better chess. So, knight to d7 and another interesting time of this game. Knight to e4, white is attacking c5 piece. c5 bishop looks like to be one of the best black's pieces. What do you think black will play in this position? Maybe nearly everybody from us will play to e7. Yes, because we know that this bishop is important for us and it's a good idea to save this bishop. But in this position, Michi Anand believed that this bishop is not so important than time. And he believed or he is sure and he is right that, that this c8 piece is critical piece and he needs to play with this piece. So he's playing b6. He doesn't mind to lose this bishop. He is giving um, two bishops advantage for two white for nothing. And of course, Gary Kasparov is taking with smile and he knows that from now has two bishops. So, another interesting moment of this game. What do you think is the right? Uh, move to take this knight with a knight or queen. Small different, making uh, different plans in the future. And I will tell you that if you will take with a knight, of course we are attacking white's best piece on d3, so we are going to f5 and maybe here everything's okay. White has small advantage because has two bishops, but nothing terrible. Small advantage, it's every time okay if we are black. So, but Vichy Anand took with d5 queen and he know that this piece will be under attack one more time. So, he is losing time and he is under attack, of course. He is going to c7 and now Gary Kasparov has two strong bishops. They are attacking h7, g7 and we have the feeling that this game will be interesting because, you know, if Gary Kasparov has these two bishops, so uh, strong attack will start really soon. Vichy Anand played with his bad bishop and he is ready for defense. Now, uh, Gary Kasparov has to make a big decision to go for a short castle or for long castle. Short castle is, I believe, okay. Uh, after short castle, uh, we know that white has two bishops. So, it's a good plan to exchange one of them. Knight to c5 is speaking exactly in these words. 
we are ready to take on d3 bishops and we are not to worry if uh, black will take on f6 why because if black sorry if white will take off on f6 we will take g pawn and we have planned to go rook to g8 and we are attacking uh, g2 pawn so that's okay for us and we are not worried of this move so maybe for this reason Kari Kasparov is going for short uh, long castle long castle looks more interesting and of course if white has these two strong pieces d4 d3 uh, i believe that long castle is making sense not to c5 anyway and for the second time we are not to worry of move bishop will take on f6 why because this move is a mistake check on f4 and of course we are taking back this bishop with queen white lost his advantage of two bishops and black is okay so don't, don't worry about this move and Gary Kasparov is playing bishop to e5 now everything is changed and this queen is under attack for another time so what to play we know that bishop on d3 is strongest white piece we have to shoot this piece and we are taking this piece from now white is losing his advantage of two bishops okay what do you think what's the right idea should white to take this knight with a rook or queen okay if white would take with queen uh, looks like still black is under attack now is big threat to take on f6 and you need to be careful not to be checkmated the right move is h6 while take of course this move is a mistake so we have to take uh, knight and somewhere here this position is sharp uh, white has a dark square bishop black has a light square bishop uh, black has short castle white long castle so interesting game still maybe with small advantage for white but uh, Gary Kasparov took with the rook and it's making sense because this rook should go one day to h3 and of course uh, Gary Kasparov is looking for attack beautiful move to c4 because you know if we are under defense it's good idea to go for end game so now we stop this plan because we are ready or we don't mind to exchange queens and one more time what's happen if white will take on f6 so what do you think yes of course don't worry about this move because check and everything is okay um, maybe here black will have advantage small advantage because his light square bishop should be stronger than this knight but okay that's another game so knight to d4 and now is time for the first time if black has time to take a2 pawn what do you think is a good idea to take this pawn or no looks like to be risky um, if black will take now white will take on f6 check on g4 now is threat to take on h6 and this position looks like um, black is under big attack yes of course uh, there is so many threats like this or like this so uh, this pawn on a2 uh, it's expensive for black because maybe white's attack should be a winning attack so don't take this pawn because in this position it's important to stop white's attack okay bishop to e4 beautiful move as i told you we are ready to go for end game so what do you think now what black should play of course 
um, and this move is making sense and maybe black is okay but somewhere here Vishanan believe that should play for the winner he is not interested to go for end game and he is taking on, on a2 wow now this position is messy and for example what's happen if white will take on e4 and this move is mistake because black will win this rook of course he will take check and somewhere here white is lost yes i know it's another game but it's good to see this move anyway so move happened and black took on a2 and white took on f6 what do you think now what black has to play it's very dangerous to play check on a1 and to take this rook because looks like uh, black will be under attack so check and this position is dangerous it's dangerous for black maybe uh, black should survive in the good defense but why to play to this key position now best move in this position is bishop to g6 wow looks like um, black has less material but still in the air is check on a1 and uh, still in air is a move when black should win h1 rook so even white has to be careful and of course it's making sense to attack this queen and maybe now black is not too far to lose peace but he's going to d5 maybe 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 baby uh, white should play bishop to uh, e5 a5 but f6 and this position is still okay for both sides still interesting game and uh, even white has same amount of material this position is interesting but um, white played h4 without a doubt uh, white is playing for win okay black took black took one more time he took white's plan is still to win this game by a brutal attack so f5 and uh, this move is built against black's idea to go to f6 i will show you what's happened if black is going to f6 right now uh, looks like black is under attack so variations like this check 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 take take and uh, this position is not really healthy for black even on black is one more material black is under attack and i don't believe that somebody from us will be happy to play this position as black maybe yes and maybe i am wrong but why to play this position so vish anand played move f4 you know now from now vish anand has more material he believed that white doesn't have compensation for this pawn and he believed that black is winning so amazing game because as you as you saw the first side it was white um, in a strong attack at the end black believed that he will win the right move is g3 and the bad move is to go to f3 because from now white is lost and uh, now we should watch amazing performance of Vichy Anand. Um, idea behind this move was to go to h3 but th this move is important because square h4 is important check check and now you can see that this pawn on h4 is under black's control and white doesn't have more checks 
And of course, if black will take on f8, is checkmate on c2. So, even white has to be careful. So, maybe Kari Kasparov has the feeling that something is wrong and he took on f4. Okay, to c5, of course, big threat on c2. And uh, now we should ask white where, where is white's compensation. And for example, um, here, let's check, check. And this endgame uh, maybe is not lost for white, but it's still difficult for white. And I will show a few moves where maybe white has chances to draw, but uh, still black has advantage. So, so another interesting variation we saw, and uh, white went to h4 with another rook. Okay, check, fret, uh, okay, black is okay to exchange some rooks, and e5, so he exchanged one rook, and with Every new exchange, he know that has more material. He believed that this piece is not a safe piece, and the plan is to play b5, a5, and with move a4 or b4, black will open uh, this position. And he believed that white is absolutely lost. So it should be a terrible feeling for Karikasparov to play this position because uh, he's playing against young unknown. Um, Vishanand and he has so big problems. So now watch faster this game. G5, uh, F3, A5, and as I told you, Black is going to open his position without mercy. Uh, okay, if Black is playing, White is playing check on A6, is maybe just checkmate on B2. So as I told you, beautiful move a5, b5, okay, coming back because we are at the end of this video um, and to g3, but no mercy, b4, black is going to open, check on h4, a4, a2, check, check, and of course somewhere here, white is losing because it's under checkmate. So. Amazing performance of young Vichy Anand, 22 years old. He played a really amazing game against Kasparov. He was under attack. He saved or he defend all threats. And at the end, he's winning against big Gary Kasparov. And I believe that this was the best, best performance. And from now, Vichy Anand know that his world top chess player. So we are at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you saw interesting game. And if yes, feel free and press like or follow in my YouTube chess channel. And I believe I will see you next time in another interesting our YouTube chess video. Thank you very much for watching one more time. And I believe I will see you soon. Thank you. That's everything for now. And see you soon.